Good morning, this is the orientation of the Apex 45 watt uh, triple wavelength Apex laser and its custom base. The custom base is provided for the laser. It has uh, on the top of the base four uh, custom drilled holes for the legs of the unit itself, so it's very stable on the, on the base. It has um, locking wheels, which are currently locked, which you can press down to release or press on the opposite side to lock itself. I'll release both now. I'm going to spin the unit around to show you how to turn the equipment on and to plug it in. So the unit is plugged in with a power cord in the back of the apex and wrapped for safety around the uh, cord holders here. And then the bottom of the cord is actually plugged into a surge protector that is provided to protect the apex life from power surges. Then the cord of the base plugs obviously directly into the outlet. Shelves are provided for storage and on the charger there's actually USB ports as well for additional equipment. On the cart as well are the goggles provided. There are four pair of goggles provided, two that are available to use over glasses. So if your client wears glasses, they can comfortably wear these over top of the, the, their personal glasses. And the other one is for just folks that don't wear glasses. There's a third type of goggles provided and these are called blackout goggles. These are identified for when you're treating around the face, uh, sinuses, anything around the face, so prevent accidental exposure of laser beams to the eyes. So these go directly over the eyes and the goggles go directly over top of these. The handpiece stores in the cart in the hole provided there for the safety of the handpiece when not in use. And this uh, um, telescoping pedestal is provided to keep the fiber optic cable off the floor so it doesn't get caught potentially under the wheel of a, a stool or a chair and get damaged because this cord is the most vulnerable piece of the equipment. <clears throat> There's also a handpiece holder uh, on the top of the equipment as well which you can place by sliding it directly in like this. Either one works, it's up to your preference. To power the equipment on, as I mentioned earlier, is the power button on the back. Click it on. The system will go through a self-check and a self-calibration. Place the passcode in and hit select enter and it goes through that self-calibration mode. When that's complete, you'll see the home screen. The home screen gives us the wavelengths that are in use and the percentages of each of those wavelengths. This unit delivers all three wavelengths at one time that are blended through the fiber optic cable. This is the power button that takes the laser from inactive, which it currently is, and it arms the laser and it makes it ready for use. These are the pulse settings that, you can, that have been pre-programmed in. And this button, the second from the top, is where you find your preset protocols that have been custom programmed into your device based on the training we had. Each wavelength <coughs> is utilized in this particular case. We have first the five watt, 10 hertz setting. That setting is identified for open wounds or abrasions, anything off skin that we would treat. We treat as close to the skin as possible without cross-contaminating or touching the skin. The treatment for that is because we don't want the tan piece to touch anything there where in skin itself is not intact. The second setting is 7 watts, 10 hertz. That's identified for 0 to 1 centimeters of depth. Remember your finger is approximately 2 centimeters in width, so half the width of your finger. So things for 7 watts is typically skin level. The 10 watts, 10 hertz setting is for uh, what, excuse me, 1 to 2 centimeters in depth, so the width of the full width of your finger, so something like a tendon, a shallow tendon, um, is a most common application for the 10 watts, 10 hertz. 15 watts, 10 hertz is identified for one, excuse me, two to three centimeters in depth, so one to one and a half fingers in, in depth. <clears throat> that one is for, again, um, small muscles in a child or a senior, shallow targets. Any, uh, the shallow target of a knee, if it's surfaced, like a a meniscus, but if you're working in the inner component of the knee, you're going to want to go a bit deeper. So again, it depends on the size of your client. If you have a child or a senior with small muscle mass, you're going to use a different setting than if you have an average adult or a person that is uh, fully muscled or large muscled or 
potentially overweight. So remember, you're, you identify the treatment area you're going to treat, and then you identify the settings based on the depth of target. 20 watts is three to four centimeters deep, so that's approximately that, that far. 25 watts is two and a half fingers deep, and 30 watts is three full fingers deep. Each of the settings identifies on the bottom panel here what percentage of each wavelength is being utilized in the time that is available to use. When you push the start button, it brings you to, again to your home screen and the setting that you selected is identified on the bottom panel of the, and it's pre-programmed properly into your wavelength settings there. Again, pulse and time settings are pre-programmed as well. At that point, <clears throat> take your handpiece, put the face of the aperture directly in the palm of your non-dominant hand, again to prevent from accidental exposure. Nothing is on. When I activate or arm the laser, the red button turns to green and gives me a screen that tells me again what wattage, set, wattage is available, how many joules have been delivered, in this case zero, and how much time is available to treat. When I arm this laser, I will have an active guide light. That tells me that my laser is ready to use, but there's no audible tone and there's no flashing light here yet, which means the laser itself is not yet on. When I push the, the button on the handpiece, this controls the actual laser itself. So depress the handpiece one time, you'll see a flashing light here, and you'll hear an audible tone. Now my laser is operational. I place it directly over the target that I want to treat, and I treat in my three by five or two by seven treatment pattern as slowly as the client can tolerate that it's a comfortable uh, sensation. It should be warm, but never uncomfortable, and it should feel like sunshine. It should never be too warm, and tell the client if it's too warm, it's counterproductive, and it's not as thorough or as good of a therapy. So warm, never uncomfortable, it should feel like sunshine. Firm pressure to blanch the blood of the lymph away from the target area. And when you move and reposition the handpiece, you want to just pick it up slightly and go back to the top and start again. Once I want to disarm my laser, I press the handpiece one time. I still have a guide light, but it's not actively working because this light is not active and there's no tone. Put the handpiece back in my hand, uh, back out, Excuse me here. I'm now disarmed, my, my button is red, my laser is off, and I have no guide light left. I finished my treatment, so I'll put my handpiece either on the top or on the side. Take my fiber optic cable and get it up off the floor so it doesn't get accidentally damaged, and you're finished with your treatment. If you are finished for the day or, with, or for a period of time and you're gonna leave your treatment room, power your equipment off. It should cool for two minutes before you power it off to make sure all the lasers inside are fully cooled. Press the button on the back and you're finished for the day. That's the orientation for the 45 watt triple wave lake apex laser.